Like, how did it, how did this situation happen? Well, obviously, I'm going to butcher the holy corral out of these names, so bear with me. But there's a place called Sheikh Jarrah. It's in East Jerusalem. Palestinians were kicked out of their homes. Jewish settlers were moving into their homes. There is a law that was passed that had allowed this to happen. I will get into that law later. It's kind of a detailed shit, so I just want to go over the Twitter version real quick. So that pissed off the Palestinians. From that point, the Palestinians had protested. Israelis, go figure, had cracked down on said protest. Then the Israeli government, specifically the IDF, had this beautiful idea of like, how do we make the worst mistake possible and piss off the Palestinians and essentially piss in their third most holiest spot in the entire world? Well, they decided to bust into the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is the third most holiest site in Islam. They did it during Ramadan, which is one of the most holiest of times of their entire year. And on top of that, they did this as a response to protests. Because apparently the people inside al Mosque were doing something wrong that had required an infiltration and observation. Because there was protests going on in that general area, which were brutally cracked down on. So that started the fighting that we know now. There's over... Uh, I think it was last I checked, 213 or so deaths, about 63-ish kids on the Palestinian side were killed. In terms of Israelis, it's about 10 Israelis and two Israeli kids that were killed. So obviously the, the attacks were disproportional. And also we have to dive in deeper to the question of, okay, are the Palestinians claiming defense? Because personally, yes, yes, they're defending themselves because they can't, peacefully protest. And I will get into that. They've been cracked down on many, many, many times over. They can't peacefully protest. So if you can't peacefully protest, how are you going to respond? 